Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day five of the coronavirus lockdown in the city of Lagos. My name is Yomi Martins, your financial services consultant. Today, we shall be looking at a topic which is germane to what is happening right now, and which I feel that if this issue had been um, addressed a long time ago, before we have crisis and all that, a lot of businesses would have easily been able to stay afloat. So today, we shall be looking at business continu continuity planning. Business continuity planning. What's business continuity planning all about? Business continuity planning is about um, strategizing in such a way that um, your business remains afloat, irrespective of um, any pandemic, any earthquake and you are able to service your clients or your customers and all that stuff so that's how simple business continuity plan is is a management function and it's not just peculiar to top-notch organizations like banks um, insurance companies manufacturing companies and all that it's also very very relevant to smes who are bank customers right so how do you do a business continuity plan so that it doesn't really affect your day-to-day -day activity and you are very much afloat whenever there is a crisis? It's pretty simple. You just need to follow some basic steps. Number one, you need to do... And well, before I even start talking about the basic steps that you need to follow, business continuity plan is actually better to, be, to have been done and tested before the period of crisis. It's better to have been done before the period of crisis because right now if you are doing business continuity planning, you are just like, well, you can still do it, yes? But it would have been seamless if it has been done prior to the period of crisis. So you can actually still implement a business continuity plan while you are in crisis. Okay, for starters, you need to do a self or an organizational analysis. An organizational analysis will entail looking at the various aspects of your organization. Where are the most important? It's not as if any department or any division is less important than the other. But you have to take an overview, a organizational analysis of your business. Which aspects of your business are actually the backbone of the operations of your business, right? Number two you need to look at the risk analysis of each of those aspects of your business and your touch points which are, um, are areas in your business you can easily manage the risk when um, there is a crisis point and which ones you can easily manage the risk let me let me come up with um, um, some basic examples assuming i run a telecoms company right and there is a um there is a crisis in town in town and um, i need to activate my business continuity plan which are the most important departments to my business i'm sure one of the most important departments even before the customer service department is the engineering department which which that will make sure that uh, my my masts are are working properly uh, the base stations are okay uh, the back end of the engineering that will transmit voice and data they are perfect so um, the engineering department is integral to that particular um, industry now you talk about customer service i need to constantly keep in touch with my customer right how do i do it do i need to if i have a problem will i need to lodge people in an hotel um, will i have to calm them somewhere um, how do i make provisions for them so that they are constantly in touch with my customers now after doing those risks as in okay these are the major departments that i need right you need to make people or your staff aware that this business continuity plan is available and these 
are the strategies you might need to have captains not you might need you will need to have captains in each of those relevant departments you want to do a business continuity plan um, that are integral to your business continuity plan while others can work at home and everything what would you have done if there is a shutdown and you still want to be in operation you still want to be um, relevant and you still want to make money so people have to be aware and you have to have champions or uh, champions for each of those departments who will drive the plan that you have set for those departments next you need to test a plan you don't need to wait for um, crisis to come up before you test a plan right you need to dedicate a deal it's just like doing a, a, a fire drill right you need to do a fire drill more or less for your business continuity planning you need to have a scenario in which okay everything shuts down what will we do who are the people we'll call in our line of command ahead of our line of command and all that stuff right you need to look at the chain of commands who to call where to operate from how to do you need to test that plan and everything now if this were done prior to now most of the smes even smes as as simple as um um, the guys that are just um, 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 sewing and all that, if they can't go to their shop or their, their factory to sew clothes and everything, if there is a business continuity plan, they would have been able to say, okay, fine, I would probably sew from home, right? I will be able to activate my, my contacts with my customers because I would have already built up a customer directory in which... I will be able to call my customer. I'm telling you, this period of crisis is actually the period we should actually be in touch the most with our customers, right? This is the period to be in touch the most with our customers. So, the same thing with um, assuming I'm selling fruits, right? And I can't um, sell fruits from the location I normally sell fruits from, right? Would I have been able to devise a method in which, okay, dispatch riders actually take the fruits to my customers? Thinking out of the box to ensure that you are still in operations, right, in any period of crisis is the core of business continuity planning. I'll leave you with that today, right? Remain blessed, um, keep safe. All this will be over pretty soon. My name is Yomi Martins, as I said earlier before. If you like this uh, video and you want to see more of our content, click the subscribe button below, like my page, and share. You'll be glad you did. And there are so many goodies coming pretty soon, so I'll say now, click subscribe. Have a nice day. Bye.